This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, March 24th. Starting out with the stock index futures, we are seeing lower prices this morning. This after Bullard of the Fed in his comments indicating that, in his opinion, that a rate hike is not that far off, provided that the economy evolves. Also this week we had three other Fed spokesmen basically saying the same thing, talking about the possibility of an earlier than expected rate hike from the Fed. Now, one thing that traders on the floor are talking about was, of course, last week we had the Fed in their statement indicating that uh, they thought that there could only be two rate increases this year, and this compares to last December when they said that there could be four rate increases. So this statement last week was very dovish, and it um, cost stock index futures to advance. But now uh, some on the Fed are thinking that it may have been a bit too dovish. So Fed officials this week attempting to talk it back to some degree with hawkish comments. Uh, and of course, there are four Fed officials this week all basically saying the same thing, that there could be an earlier than expected rate increase. Uh, so that has put some pressure on stock indices. Our feeling is, though, that the Fed may only raise rates one time this year. Also, we feel that global interest rates are going to remain very low. So that should be the dominant influence that does support stock index futures uh, all this year. So any break that we see in the indices is likely to be only temporary. Now, moving over to the currency markets, seeing the dollar index advancing now for the fifth day. And of course, this strength in the dollar index linked to these hawkish comments from uh, Fed officials this week. Our feeling is that the Fed, although they are likely to be slow to raise interest rates, the Fed is still the most hawkish of all of the major central banks, followed uh, by a very distant Bank of England, which may not be able to raise rates until possibly late 2017. So look for the dollar index to continue to advance longer term. Seeing the pound uh, earlier a little bit better, we had retail sales in the UK falling by less than expected, down 0.4%. The guess was down 0.7%. Since then, though, we have seen the pound uh, coming under some pressure. Longer term, we do feel that the pound is likely to trade lower, especially as we get closer to the June 23rd referendum in the UK to leave the European Union. So from a political point of view, I think the pound is uh, very susceptible to lower prices. Now, moving over to the interest rate futures markets, higher prices, especially in the bonds. This linked to lower indices and lower crude oil prices, which uh, are bullish, especially for the long end of the curve. Our feeling is that fundamentals are basically offsetting. So I would stand aside in, in the interest rate markets for now. Also, as far as a rate increase at the April meeting, only at 14%. Seems rather unlikely that the Fed can raise at that meeting, even though Fed officials, uh, in fact, two Fed officials saying that they would not rule out an April increase. Also, as far as the June meeting, possibility of a rate increase at 41%. That's down from 47% yesterday. And at the December meeting, at uh, about 75%, just a little bit lower. So uh, once again, the Fed most likely only to raise rates once this year, in our opinion. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.